hello and welcome to learn data it's great to have you on this channel i'm nilesh and in this video this would be the last video on the linear models uh, series so here we'll discuss polynomial regression i uh, will look at what it is when and why to create polynomial features i uh, will look at a simple example and finally we'll look at a code snippet before diving into a jupyter notebook to the to do the actual coding so if you remember we have seen this plot on the left hand side where these are the orange dots and as x increases y is increasing and if we fit a straight line through this uh, which would be a simple linear regression and here we can see that the line would fit fits uh, goes through some of the data points but if there is some curvature or curves associated with the trend of the data then the straight line would not be able to capture it and in so in those cases it's important that the line could bend around the data to capture the variation in the data so as we can see the figure on the right hand side a curved line fits that seems to fit the data well as compared to the straight line and so that's an example of polynomial regression so instead of a straight line you are fitting a curved line now let's look at an example why and where you would uh, like to use the polynomial regression uh, in this slide uh, imagine there is a field and there are uh, plenty of trees and you are interested in increasing the yield of the crop and you the two uh, parameters or factors that you can control is how much fertilizer you add give to the plants how much fertilizer you add to the uh, soil and how much water you can give to the plants it could be rainwater or irrigated farms so in addition to looking at uh, the impact of just fertilizer by itself just water by itself uh, we can also look at the interaction effects between fertilizer and water so the interaction effect is represented by um, simply multiplying those two values and that can be a feature that could be created by uh, using polynomial features so on this slide we can see the equation for polynom the polynomial regression and here we have some additional uh, features x1 x2 x1 square and x2 square uh, uh, with the x1 and x2 so what x1 and x2 let's imagine that x1 is water uh, x2 is fertilizer and then we have the interaction effect which is x1 multiplied by x2 so 10 into 1 is 10 uh, and that's the water and fertilizer effect of both together uh, then we have water by itself square of that fertilizer by itself square of that and then we have that crop yield now let's look how that compares with a linear regression so for linear regression uh, we have seen this equ uh, equation before the one on the top where y hat is the predicted value based on the parameter x a uh, parameter w and the feature uh, values x so it's uh, and where w0 is the constant so w1 x1 plus w2 x2 and in other formats we have written this is w transpose t into x dot x so that's an if you have vector form you can write it in that way in polynomial regression what you are doing is adding these additional terms on top of in uh, these existing terms from the linear regression so uh, for example shown here in the dotted box you have x1 x2 that would uh, could be said as the interaction between the feature x with feature x1 with feature x2 then you have the square terms for x1 and square term for x2 so together what we have we can do with polynomial regression is create these extra features uh, from just two features so we can uh, uh, we in this particular case we have created three additional features from two features so total we have now five features on which we can train the model and here is the z or z represents uh, those features and 
if we substitute if we look at this equation at the very bottom of the uh, slide it is still a linear regression and in even though these are squared values you can view them as just an additional feature z4 so the take home message here is that we can use uh, the polynomial features uh, to create new features from existing features and then train your train the model on these additional features which can capture interaction uh, new information such as interaction effects between those features and this is the code snippet uh, for uh, polynomial features and there is no x train y train here because i'm just uh, showing how we can transform an existing set of features uh, using polynomial features so here we have this array of two columns uh, so one column is 10 20 30 other column is 1 2 3 4 and using polynomial features we can fit and transform it to have those additional features that we talked about and here this is optional statement so if you try to print it it will have the uh, scientific notation so if uh, if you type this particular line np dot set underscore print options suppress is equal to true then it will uh, it will avoid uh, giving the output in the scientific notation. Now let's get into Jupyter notebook and see how we can implement this. Here I've imported libraries numpy. We probably won't need matplotlib. Uh, we have polynomial features, linear model, and make pipeline. And these are the versions that I'm using, uh, which should show up. Okay. For data, we are going to create the same data set that we just saw uh, with very few data points. But those points, uh, smaller data will help us uh, clearly see what, uh, what, the, what the polynomial features is actually doing. So we'll create... Uh, an array of numbers for water so those could be 10 20 30 40 and while we are at it we'll reshape this to minus 1 1 and next we'll create a fertilizer array so fertilizer again here the numbers could be just 1 2 3 4 and we'll reshape this as well to minus 1 1 and after this we have the output so output could be crop yield and so for this again create an np np array and this could be uh, uh it's sort of an exponential increase that i'm trying to show one four eight sixteen and then reshape minus one one so what i want to do is put the a for water and fertilizer in the variable x so concatenate uh, so we'll concatenate water and fertility fertilizer so this would be on axis one and then for the y we can simply use the crop underscore yield uh, just create a copy of that so now we have x and y so here we can let's look at the shapes of those x dot shape uh, and then we can also look at the shape of y so y dot shape just so that we know what shapes they are uh, which is obvious from what we have typed above but still so 4 by 2 and 4 by 1 so that's the x we have and that's the y we have now for test we'll create a simple array for that np dot array uh, uh, we can add new values here so 35 12 i'm adding the two columns together 11 and 1.2 and then we have 26 and 5.8 so these are all arbitrary values 
reshaped and this would be 3 by 2 array so this would be like this now the first step we'll do is transformation uh, that is to create new features transform and this would be this way so first i'm going to add the suppress command for suppress the scientific notation and for this we type np dot set underscore print options suppress is equal to true and now we can create new features from the existing ones so f is equal to variable f is equal to polynomial features and we'll use degree of two and then f underscore new so these would be uh, the variable that will have the new array with transform features fit underscore transform x and then we have np so we can simply look at what this looks like so here we can see that this one is added uh, when we use the fit transform uh, apart from that then these are the features we have 10 20 30 40 then these and then we have the interaction which would be this column 10 and then 20 into 240 this would be the water so square of that then this is fertilizer square of that and so that's how simple it is to perform to get new features from uh, by using polynomial features now we can also use this in a pipeline form so we can uh, we do not have to create this as a separate step uh, while fitting a model so let's see how we can do that as well so for fit transform what we can do is we'll create a pipeline and then perform a fit so for creating a pipeline we have model is equal to make underscore pipeline and here we have polynomial features and this would be degree of uh, two and here we have linear underscore model dot linear regression and here then we can use model is equal to sorry model dot fit x comma y so that's the model that we have fitted so what will happen now is when we perform the predictions the data will first go through these uh, polynomial features and then it will go through the linear regression y underscore pred is equal to model dot predict x underscore test y underscore pred so those are the predicted values for the x test uh, so again before ending this video i just want to sh uh, say that when we use polynomial features in the pipeline what we are doing is when we call the fit method the x goes through the polynomial features with just two features and the polynomial feature method converts it into five features in this case and then those five features are fed into the next step which is the linear regression and then uh, uh, that is used to uh, calculate the coefficients w for the equation that we saw in the previous slide and those coefficients are then used uh, here with the predict to give as the output for y pred so that was it for this video and also for the linear models in scikit-learn i hope uh, this was an extensive series uh, we have several videos on this i hope this series up to this point time point on linear models gave you uh, a lot of knowledge about how to perform linear uh, how to perform linear uh, regression there are several methods we talked about and i'm hoping that you are able to apply them in your uh, either in your course projects 
or uh, in your projects at work or if you are just trying to learn and understand what data science is then you are able to implement those in some uh, toy data sets or real world data set that you may have been practicing watching these videos if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below i'll as a next step i'll also try to add some uh much I'll try to work with a larger data sets based on what we have covered so far on linear models so you can see how these models uh, uh translate while we uh, make use of them in the real world data sets uh, if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next section in scikit-learn uh, and the series on that will continue this series uh, please like share and subscribe it means a lot to me and it motivates me to create more content for you guys and i hope uh, you like these videos as well the style of teaching the audio uh, again any suggestions please let me know and i hope to see you all in the next video thank you